Okay, on this screen you have a nicely designed graphical presentation of Project Control's career path. Let's get into detail and understand it. As a Project Control's professional, if you are a fresh graduate, then you are, you are going to get into the Project Control's career as a planning engineer or project controls engineer and cost engineer and schedule engineer if you start your your project controls career into any contracting company or into a project management company or sometime employers as well as a from industry as a young entrant so this is what the position you're going to have so once you have completed like five years uh, five years or ten years and, and these five years or 10 years or 15 years window depends on the complexity of the project, uh, largely complexity of the project and industry you are operating in, the geography you are operating in. Then after five to 15 years, you get into the senior positions. And these positions are often called lead position or leadership position. At the entrant level position, you, you, you are under supervision of the seniors. And once you become, you have enough experience, then you become senior and then uh, the young profession, younger professional reports to the you and work for you. So this is how the second position, second level position works. Then going forward, when you travel more on your career path, then what you're going to get, you're going to get something like head of project controls uh, or head of the department of project controls for uh, for that project setting. So sometimes the projects are, uh, when the, there are mega projects, you know, you will see the people with 20, 25 years experience will be head of the project controls, head of the project controls for, for that project. For a smaller project, you can have uh, you can have a little younger professional becoming head of the project controls for the project. Sometimes the project controls, you know, uh, sometimes project controls heads are sitting remotely, they manage multiple projects. Again, depending on the size and complexity of the project. Uh, and again, the geography and, you know, the industry and so on, right? So this is how the general uh, general uh, project controls you know career ladder looks like at the end of the at the end you they are CXOs or vice presidents or president position a young career entrant project professional should be focusing upon so this is how the road of the project controls uh, project controls uh, path si looks at the sim uh, simply looks like you know there are more variations to that, and let's talk about those variations. So again, here, as a young entrant, you're going to be a scheduler, project controls engineer, and you get into the industry, and then then you then you then your career progresses, and then you become lead project controls, lead cost engineer, and so on. And the next stage is a project controls manager. We, we discussed this thing. Then uh, what happens that these are the career from the young entrant at the, at the industry level to the project controls managers. Normally the span takes like 15 years to 20 years. And what I have found a lot of my friends, a lot of my friends of, um, of my experience ranges, they get bored of from the project controls and they, they opt the, you know, the project management or the, or which is uh, like relatively a general management of the project carriers. So they become project controls. Uh, from the project controls, they become project managers. And then the whole focus is from, from project management uh, management position is, uh, is to get into the vice president and CXO's level. When I talk about CXO, these positions are either uh, CDOs, chief development officers, sometimes it is called chief project officers, or the president projects, or vice president projects, and so on. So these are the CXO positions, and the career ladder goes like this. There is one more variance, variation to the career, career ladder that some of the project controls professional continue to be in the, in the, in the project controls and they, they choose uh, the position of head of project controls. Like head of project controls means the head of project controls for a particular organization. I mean, uh, there can be a contractor who is having uh, 15, 20 projects and within that organization, there is a one subject matter expert uh, is assigned as a head of the project controls for whole organization. So, so some of the project controls managers, after having enough experience on a on a specific project, they choose to be a head of project controls. The similar position is is a head of PMO, the head of project management office. The project management office roles are much broader than project controls. They 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 also support management for management decision making and you know project selection and all those setting an enterprise wide you know system and procedures for project management and become a, a, a basically a project management organization within a, a within a organization of a bigger size you know right 
So this is how the project management career path looks like. The mo uh, an important thing why I always emphasize to young project control professionals and a budding project control professional that you got to have a, a career path, right? You got to have a career path. If there is no, there is no visible career path for you in your organization, then this is something called job, right? And you got to be very careful, careful understanding difference between what is job and what is pro what is career path, which we will be talking in little more detail, in little more detail in the last section of this session. However, when I am, am presenting you the project controls career path, it is important that in order to be a successful project controls professional, you have decided your own career path within the current organization or by changing organization, how you want to grow in your career. That's very important. Now let's take one more complexity to the project controls career path. And you will be surprised to see that I have put, uh, you know, you know, snake and ladder board, uh, the game board in front of you. However, the, the message, is, message is very, very simple. The message is that, that in order for you to be successful in your career, you are going to have some ladders, right, which can enhance your speed of getting higher into your career path. And then you are going to have some snakes, which can bite you sometimes and your your progress of the career career path can slow down. So let's understand them what is snakes and what is you know ladders and how to play with them. So basically snakes are in the situation where you get stuck into your career path, right? You are not able to grow. You are not able to grow from one box to other and get into the the, the final number of 100 or whatever numbers you have in your mind. So what are these snakes? These snakes are, for example, let me give you an example. There are industry variations. Sometimes a particular sector of construction industry goes well, and sometimes this sector, other, other sector does well. You know, For example, uh, oil and gas industry, the project controls professional in oil and gas industry were doing very well until few years before where oil and oil, oil and gas industry started to see some slowdowns so it is something like a snake has by bitten to oil and gas industry project controls professionals sometimes you can have ladders also right so you were working in a contracting company and all of a sudden you got opportunity to to join into you know employers organization or you join into the a good a very reputed project controls cons consultant and, and, and provided that you are working with a small contractor. Contractor working as a contractor is always a good learning. However, there are some small ladders which can enhance your project, uh, enhance your project controls path. It can fetch you more money, it can fetch you more recognition, it can provide more learning so that you can still go further in your project controls career. Therefore, it is important that you understand this, these games very well. You make yourself ready for the game have foresight on the future of the industry, how the industry will turn. This is how you can build your project controls career path, which will be eventually helpful for your success of the project controls career and supercharge your career. That's all I have on this session. Let's jump to next session now.